Hello, I'm Lantis. This is my Darnell transmog, and this is Dragon Soul done quick. Just a quick farming run I'm going on. Now, it's only set to 10 man normal because what I need comes from 10 man normal, and that is the Blazing Drake. Pretty much any tune you have that's level 100 can do this place. Like this is the fifth time I've done this place this week, so my rogue has no gear, but the bosses will still pretty much all just kill over. Fortify your positions within. Yeah. Blazing Drake for this achievement that Deathwing drops. He also drops it on Heroic, but he can drop like another mount then. I don't think if he drops the other mount, it will prevent him from dropping the Blazing Drake, but I don't know. So I've just always done it on oh, normal. You can ignore all the trash in this room and just go straight to the boss. The trash will pull when you pull the boss. At level 90, this might have been concerning if you were ungeared, but right now it doesn't even matter. As you can see, try as he may, he can't kill me, and that's cause I have... where is it? Leeching Poison. Which scales with damage, and right now I'm doing a lot more damage because of the nerf to lower level instances Blizzard put in. Have to loot this guy twice because you loot the trash the first time. Oh, well, really, you don't have to loot anything until you get to Deathwing. But again, it depends on what you're after. If you're after the transmog gear, a single general remains. You must make haste. Particularly if you're after transmog gear, you're going to want to look into what color you want it to be. Because it's different colors depending on the difficulty. And you can actually still run this place on LFR. There's an NPC outside the instance now. Talk to him and he'll let you in there. And LFR has different colored gear than normal. It's different colored gear than heroic. So pick whichever one you want. But if you are here after the gear, you're probably going to want to do it on 25 and if you want to do it on 25, you'll probably need something slightly better geared than a fresh 100. If you notice, I also didn't pull the trash here. Uh, it doesn't... well, it pulls, like, with your Saj's trash, but with Zana's, it all keeps its corners. There's two different ways to handle it after the boss goes down. Since I'm a rogue... I'm just going to vanish. Uh, if you were a hunter, you'd feign death. Uh, there's other people that can drop aggro. Not as well as hunter and rogue, though. Either way, if you notice, it does not immediately de-aggro. That's called stuff is still in the air. As soon as the last of its attacks hit the ground, it should all de-aggro. There. And now I can take the portal back out. You truly are the heroes of legend. So, I'm burst of speeding constantly to keep things going as quickly as possible. Because that's really my only concern, getting out of here fast. So, all talents are built around speed. Uh, speed and keeping myself alive, like with leeching poison. Not really concerned about doing any damage, not really concerned about min-maxing. It's just kind of a nice, peaceful solo run. Here you just wait for this portal right here to open. Fun thing to do back in the day if you were a mage and you knew about when the portal was going to spawn would be to drop a portal 
right here before the other portal appears and everyone clicks on it and goes off to who knows where. Too bad Ancient Dalaran wasn't around then. But regular Dal would make people just as upset. May allow us to converge the magical matrix contained within the dragon soul. Another thing you could have done is if you had a warlock in the party and you were like putting a pug together, you know, just say that you're on what's the next boss's name? Hagara. I'm on Hagara, and then summon everyone to Eye of Eternity. If they weren't paying attention to where they were being summoned to, then they would be really surprised when Malagos comes out. Of course, all that does is waste their time, but really it's the small things in life that make it worth living, right? Then I will open the way into the Eye of Eternity. You must and yes, these people have a lot to say. And there's no way to speed this up. There's no way to skip it. You have to hear them talk every time. So if you run this a lot every week, you're going to hear this a lot. Click on this thing and the trash begins. Eventually. I swear it does. Here it comes. And it comes in waves. Very small waves instead of all at once. I swear, just send it all out at once. I can handle it. But nope, the enemy has to be polite. We don't want to overwhelm the hero or anything. Stand an actual chance of winning? Of course not. Just gonna... Be polite. Come one at a time. Swagger? Alright. Oh, also you want to kill this guy before uh, his phase transitions. I think that was lightning phase, and you can't do lightning phase solo because you need at least two people to connect all the things. Maybe three. So what I would have done if I didn't have the DPS to kill him before his phase began is I would just pull him and vanish to reset him. If you're not a rogue, then you have to pull him and die to reset him because it's random whether he starts with uh, lightning phase or ice phase. And from his weapons right there, you can tell what phase he's going into next. They're covered in electricity, so it would have been lightning phase. I, ice phase you can do solo. So if you need more than one phase to kill him... Uh, what top of If you need more than one phase to kill him, then you gotta start him on ice phase. If you need more than two phases, then... Well, you need someone else. And DBM is showing us their RP time. This isn't even all of it. Like, after this, I've got to talk to Thrall and then wait for that. Heroes, the burden falls to you once again. Yeah, I know that, Thrall. I know that. Thrall is just completely useless. He has... The four strongest dragons in the world, Sans Deathwing, all around him. He's taken Deathwing's place. And what can they do? Stand around. I did start it, didn't I? Yeah. It just doesn't start right away. Alex Straza just has no luck with offspring. 
like during the Second War, she had to breed an army to attack the Alliance. During ever since then, she's just made eggs for Deathwing to corrupt. Uh, oh yeah, this thing. Oh god, this is so obnoxious. So okay, as a rogue, I use uh, shurikens specifically for this part. Because you need something ranged to hit these things. If you didn't have a ranged attack, then... Well, this part, whenever the that 3 minutes 11 second timer you see disappears, they all just die anyway. But otherwise... You need some sort of ranged attack to kill them. If you're ranged DPS, of course, that's no problem. If you're a warrior, you're out of luck until the timer runs out. If you're not expecting to shurikens, you're out of luck till the timer runs out. And don't worry about the fire, it doesn't really hurt. This part was always just the most miserable part of this entire dungeon run. Like, more people would go AFK here back in the day than at any other part of the dungeon. And that's the last of them. So now we just wait on the boss, and that means more RPing. More RP for per square foot than any other raid in the entire game. When I say Dragon Soul done quick, quick was in sarcastic quotation marks. Can I just attack him here? Bullshit, Ultraxian's worse than Sinestra. Like maybe plot-wise, but in-game? Neff was a bigger pain in the ass. Sinestra was a bigger pain in the ass. He is... arguably weaker than Oni was. Even back in the day, in, um, in Classic, when Oni did, like, nothing, she just, like, breathed, feared, and flew for a bit. There were a whelp cage for you to get knocked into. Many of them. Handle it. Well, Traxian does nothing. He just sits there and lets you beat on him. A patchwork monster! That is my ultimate creation! Ah! Okay. of the earth hear my call shield them in this dark hour the last defender oh there is a time limit on this thing if you're solo see that uh thing up there hour of twilight counting down very first one of those goes off and he one shots you so if you've been doing it on 25 man up to this point you might need to set it down and no mount dropped But that's sort of like um, Hagara's time limit. At certain points of this dungeon, you just have to be able to do a little bit of damage. But for the most part, you can just auto-attack. For everything else, you can just auto-attack. Oh god, okay, this next part is critical to get the timing right. Oh, got it. No cutscene. Okay, that's always unnerving. Especially after uh, Spine dies, there's going to be a cutscene where it starts with them going, ha ha ha, and I'm like, Jesus, my ears. Okay, yeah, thank you for that, Blizzard. Okay, 
can't let the destroyer get away. Oh, on this, um, whenever the um, guys riding in on the dragons come along, don't kill the dragons right there. Don't kill that dragon before he drops his rider off onto the, this thing. Or if he gets, if the rider gets dropped off into the pit, then the entire fight resets. So you can kill them before they fly off there and get out of your range for a bit. You can ignore all these things. They'll never be able to drop enough of them on the ground. And if you don't have a ranged attack for this, it doesn't matter. Like you just saw, they get pulled all the way over to the edge. Uh, really, you can ignore the sappers, too. But I still just attack them for the hell of it. Not like there's anything else to do on this boat. You're all standing the big one. Ah, uh, fun fact. The big one comes from the boss way up there. Well, the boss's mount. The little ones all come from these guys on the side. So if you kill them quickly enough, there'll never be any little fires on the deck. Then you just gotta stand in the big fires and you'd get the achievement. I have no idea why DBM's counting down so much on this fight. It's every other second. Five, four, three. Wait, really? You had nothing to say about all the other fights, and in this one it's critical that we have a countdown? As you can see, I'm very busy here, so it's a good thing I have those numbers warning me of stuff. <sighs> <laughs> Isn't Dragon Soul exciting? Jeez, they're overlapping one another now. Oh, goes the mechanics overlap. Look at that. Blizzard trying to be cheeky. Alright, you know. Oh, energy. Oh, missed that one. And he's dead. Even if you have a ranged attack, just ignore the big dragon. Actually, I think you can ignore him as long as it's not on Heroic in general. Like on Heroic, the boss saps the uh, dragon's life and stays alive until you run the dragon off. But here he just doesn't and sort of kills over. Wait for this guy to come out. And, oh god, now we're at Spine. That is gonna be a pain. this thing. Okay, let me... That's his tail, so... His head's the other way. First thing to do on Spine is to figure out which way the head is. Second thing is kill those three tentacles, leave one up, and then make him roll while standing in the fiery stuff so you don't get thrown off yourself. That throws these guys off. <clears throat> and they're gone. And now you just have to run back and forth. I'm serious. He will spin. If you stay in the dead center like you're supposed to, he will still spin. Oh, God, the beware spam. My apologies. I would disable DBM if I could. I would have disabled it if I knew it was going to do that. I usually play with the sound off, so I didn't know it spam me with beware, beware. That is really awful. Um, here's what I'm going to do, actually. Encourage the next tentacle to come up. See if there's like a... Yeah, nah, I can't turn off DBM in combat. My bad, then. Um, I'm going to just get back to my normal strategy, then, and try to ignore it. 
Again, I apologize. Anyway, you need nine of these slimes up. I lost count. You gotta keep running back and forth so we won't spin and throw you off. I don't have an amalg up because you don't really need one up. As long as you're solo without a pet, the um, tentacles won't grab you. So, yeah, there's nothing to do but run back and forth. Kill them whenever you have over nine. Then kill this guy to get the guy out. The other guy out. He's out. Let me uh, switch to him. Six, seven... Nine. You gotta keep running back and forth even while you're fighting him. So j just make sure he's flat against the side. Doesn't matter which side. Nuclear blast doesn't hurt you, but I still run away from it just out of habit. And he raises the thing. Uh, gotta target that. Kill it, and then rinse and repeat. Luckily, the next two go way quicker. Because every one of these tentacles, tentacle holes in his back, for every one of those, there's another place for slimes to spawn. So this part goes faster than the last, and the third part goes the quickest of them all. And I don't know why that one just died. The only reason I'm not killing them is because the uh, stuff they put on the ground despawns, whereas the slimes themselves stick around forever. Alright, I get the idea. This is just the worst thing ever. This fight and the bewares. It's like rubbing salt in the wound. We're almost done with the bewares, I swear. Just got to... Oh, he might not be close enough. He might be. Okay, he was. Kill that thing. And now... Lag spike. Run, kill this. Get secured. As soon as they go flying off, it's safe to run back on. I already have a ton of slimes following me, so... This should only take another moment. What do you think? Is there enough? I bet there is. And they're all dead. On each side, you have five seconds to get over to the other side before he flips. That's a good thing to know right at the last second before the fight's over, right? Okay. And at nine stacks, you can kill this guy right against the side. He explodes, lifts the thing, you kill the tendon, it knocks the plate off. Do that three times, and that's the fight. And yes, this fight was just as boring and boring and awful back in the day. And I skipped the cinematic. Oh, now DBM pops up. Yeah, okay, thank you. Well, that awful experience is over. Now there is more RP. But this is just about the last of it. Besides after you kill him. I already took everything from it. Really, you don't have to you don't have to let MMO players know to collect loot. That's like second nature the moment you're starting out in the starting zone. Conceivable. How could he possibly still be alive? 
Now there is Madness, the final fight of Dragon Soul. Wasn't this just the greatest raid ever? Ah, uh, we're ignoring the ads, we're ignoring the tentacles. We're just killing these things, which are tentacles. But I mean the other tentacles. There's a lot of tentacles here. These are the tentacles we don't ignore. does not matter which order you kill them in, really, but this is just... the one I've always taken for farming. What happens if you ignore those tentacles and get too far away from them? A, usually they can keep impelling you anyway, and B, they start impelling the aspects. So that's a Damn it! And that's a bug. But, um, that's supposed to encourage you to kill those things, but as long as you can kill them fast enough, that doesn't really matter. And you'll almost certainly be able to whatever class you come here on. Slate like the dragons die pretty slow. I bet. Excellent work. And the goodbye, Deathwing. No, that's cool. I'll wait for y'all to finish. There's the loot, by the way. It's just not accessible till... right about... now-ish? There, now. It becomes accessible right before the, um final cinematic and that is Dragon Soul and no mount so I get to look forward to doing all this again well thanks for watching thanks for tolerating the beware spam at the spine of Deathwing and I'll see you later